So uh, actually we want to help the society for Malaysia to teaching their education, the basic knowledge for all the society, even the senior citizen. They also know how to uh, minimize the financial uh, cyber crime, the financial harm, at least the financial losses. Because mostly the financial losses from cyber crime, although it is from senior citizen. Then of course the younger citizen should know. The, uh, the only thing that for current the society only not just for not not just for IT. So IT is uh, necessary now, but cyber security also to help the IT things to make it perfectly. It cannot because of our life in a uh, uh, digital age, right? More convenience, but there's a more harm for us. Should be more convenience and more secure and more safety for us. That should be for our cybersecurity uh, objective. I have ICCB to help uh, come back to Malaysia and very register in Malaysia. Okay, all the government also have a lot of awareness. Okay, program alone. The problem is how to attach all the consumer. So it must have education. Because now all the program only like uh, teaching you what's a minimize, very basic knowledge, but, but there's no enforcement for them. But maybe they only can hard sell solution. Right? But for us, we have uh, probably use uh, education for training, what's the basic? Without any solution yet first. But the basic lah, only maybe can protect maybe 20%, 30%. But with the solution, we can protect at least more than 50%. So eventually, we have uh, provide education and the solution. What's the best solution for them? Then we also can test in the market. Like what our ICSCB certified body do is, there's a lot of solution in the market, cyber solution. Which one is the best? Which one is secure? Who knows? There's no authority to certify them or patent, uh, or give them the uh, trust mark whether this solution provided is, is, is a secure. It's 100% can okay, help the society. So we are the one who come here to audit them, to due diligence them, to check them. So all the solution is uh, going through us our testing, our due diligence, so we will have a trust mark for them. Then when the consumer or the society see our trust mark on this IT company, then the more secure, at least there's a 99% is secure. Right? So not just for the consumer's part, right? Actually the IT solution provider, even the company should think should think like that. That's like uh, the banking. The banking only like only for protect their own network security. Right? Then what's the consumer? Where's the user? Right? So we are the one who help them to uh, enhance and build out the full perfectly ecosystem for cybersecurity. We can at least help the uh, society and the consumer individual know the education first, knowledge first. I cannot promise 100% because even if they come and study, they won't might be applied unless they really cannot, uh, cannot hack before or already have a financial uh, losses before. Then they will awareness, they will aware, hey, I should do that. Rather than uh, teach, uh, teach the uh, education like you study, but you study that you never apply. So it's a different, it's a, uh, how to say, it's a very, very hard to, uh, how to say, 100% per, uh, profession for them. But at least we can help them at least 20 to 30% for education part. Since ICICB ni pun, kita tengok dia dah berada di international level. So pihak UATM are looking uh, untuk cari opportunity-opportunity yang lebih banyak lah. So antara opportunity-opportunity yang kita cari, contohnya, uh, kita bukan hanya nak lihat kepada research and development, tapi kita juga... Uh, looking into a bigger perspective which is uh, maybe on innovation dan juga commercialization uh, dengan harapan untuk kita strengthen the cyber security posture of Malaysia lah. Uh, cyber security ni is, is uh, it will, orang kata apa, dia bukan uh, dia tak akan berakhir begitu saja. Dia akan keep on increasing uh, dan akan sentiasa berlaku. Because you know technology ni emerge from time to time. Kita ada teknologi baru pun, dia orang ada lagi teknologi baru untuk overcome this kind of problem. So it's, it's ongoing stories. So kita sebenarnya on our side, which is a security defender, kita kena fikir cara-cara baru lah sebenarnya untuk overcome those problems.